Okay, let me ask you something. What's the deal with Lisi Fit? Is it active wear? Is it more fashion? Like, what are we looking at here? I'm not gonna lie. If you were to ask me six months ago what I thought of Lisi Fit, I would have said, what's Lisi Fit? Fast forward to today, apparently they're really making a name for themselves in this niche. In fact, so much so, a few weeks back, I started teasing some of these sets in my random like TikTok videos, YouTube, and every single time, I got so many comments calling out Lisi Fit in the background. That wasn't even the premise of the videos. But y'all notice the prints, they are really standing out and that's saying something. So long story short, Lisi Fit's coming up quick and yes, it's Lisi Fit, not Lee Chi, like I thought it was, but then I went to their Instagram and I actually saw that they actually write it out. It is in fact Lee C. So we're gonna dip and dive into some of their sets. I got a couple of their newer launches that I'm gonna be discussing today. So we're gonna see what Lee C means to me. What I notice about this brand is they offer a million and one different colors and prints with a million and one different styles. So basically they have over 20 different collections. You go and click on one of their collections. For example, the one I'm wearing right now, this is the Lux collection. And that entire collection is this print. It's like a snakeskin animal print. But what makes it its own collection is the fact that you can get this sports bra in this style or five other different styles. Like they come in everything you can think of. So it really is accommodating if you really love a print but you just hate a style, you can pick a different one. Let's take a deep dive on their Instagram. I feel like their Instagram is just really popping. Right off the bat, just looking at their clothing, it's not something that I would necessarily wear to the gym. It's more fashion based in my opinion. They don't even show on their Instagram any workouts or anything like that. Okay, I'm looking on their Instagram like, hey Lisi Fit, yo, you gotta send me that pink lemonade. I need that shit in my life. Give me that pink lemonade. Double tap, pink lemonade. So if you're like, what the heck, Ash, your background looks substantially different, where's your couch? Bay and I took the day to rearrange our entire living dining area. We are planning on getting a dining table, which by the way, we went to Ikea yesterday for the first time ever. I've been wanting to go for like a decade. I finally made it there. And I, you need to drop a comment below. What's up with Ikea? <laughs> I left there with this many things. I was so confused. I would see things I like, take a picture, cause I was like, all right, I guess I'm gonna show somebody this and they're gonna go retrieve wherever the frig it is. I didn't know, I was starting to just pull things off and take them with me, but that's not how Ikea works. They, you gotta go get it in a warehouse down below. So I had a couple pictures on my phone of the things that I saw that I wanted to snag. We go to get to that warehouse, the shelves were stacked like 20 feet in the air. I was looking for this dang coffee table and it was like all the way on the top. I didn't know how to get there. Are you supposed to, does every man get a forklift? Like, I don't know how to actually function in that store. I've never had to work so hard to buy something in my life, so I had to get out of there. But I will definitely be back for some Instagram photos there because hello, I don't know, if you've been there, you know they staged the shit out of their place so I could have a new backdrop every single day. This print is either a snakeskin or an alligator. I don't know which one it is, you tell me. So this set, like the name Lux, feels luxurious. It's very, very soft. It has that real metallic-y feel to it. The actual animal print is shiny and the background is more matte, so it's got a little bit of that textured look to it. So let's start with the bra. Everything is in my true size small. I definitely feel like I could have sized down in this bra because I'm feeling a little, I feel a little bit of air coming up from this end. <laughs> I actually wanted the one shoulder bra in this particular collection because I felt like I wanted that heavy contrast just going up towards my shoulder. I wanted that double strap action. I really think it's cool that brands are coming out with this style because I have seen gals taking their traditional sports bras and taking the strap and moving it, which I totally dig that style. This one does all that work for me, so I'm not stretching out my sports bra straps. <laughs> you do have nice removable bra pads. This is not a really great support. This whole set is more just low key. Cause again, it really is not very gym oriented, but boy, if I wanted to go to a hot Miami club, I'm gonna wear this with a little loose jacket with some platform heels maybe, which is actually how they style this on their Instagram. So that leads me to believe like this is what it's here for. Just going like this, you can you can see that there's a lot of let up here. So definitely size down in the bra. Other than that, so freaking comfortable. Nothing's digging in, no adjustments needed. We're good here. 
Let's talk the leggings though. My first shot at these leggings, okay. It's definitely the scrunch that's doing it. It's actually pulling on the seam down here, which is making the front seam right up my gooch. We got a veggie going on here. But with that being said, here's a very important factor that I noticed that I'm not totally a fan of, and that's the fact that there's no gusset going on here. And I get it, I get it. Most traditional pant, traditional. Most traditional pants don't have a gusset. Like you wear a pair of jeans, there's no, there's no gusset going on. Now granted, nobody's wearing this to the gym. So four way stretch, I guess isn't totally necessary, but I do prefer a gusset when dealing with a scrunch bump. Because this scrunch has to connect to something, it's connecting to where all the seams meet right underneath. So in that case, the scrunch is actually tugging through into the front here. So I need a little gusset to separate the two. Other than that, very comfortable leggings, definitely something that will trap heat. It's that type of material. There's no wicking properties with this. So if you're in a very hot climate area, prepare to sweat. These are club leggings for sure. So another one of their new launches, you probably saw me tease all over Instagram is their Vixen collection. So it's a black and red theme. I actually just wanted to share with you how you can intermix these two new launches. For example, just like so. This jacket's actually super stretchy and comfortable. This, my dears, is something I would absolutely wear to a gym. So this is a lot more comfortable of a set. Straight up, I'ma say it right here, right now. If I'm gonna do any kind of serious like movements or workouts or anything along those lines, it's gonna be in this set. This Vixen set, man, this is more yogi vibes than anything. You got more stretch in this baby. There's no scrunch butt either. And I feel like it makes the glutes look like pretty good, pretty primed up. Okay, so Lisi Fit, you guys thought ahead. There's actually a little built-in clasp at the top of the zipper just to kind of make sure you're extra secure there. It's mostly squat proof, but again, I don't plan on wearing these to the gym. These are more like, if I wanna be very comfortable yet fashionable, this is what I'll wear. I love the sports bra though, the cut. I'm starting to become a huge fan of sports bras that just steer away from the pit area. I get a lot of that bra bulge, whatever. I don't want that dig going on here, so. This is really nice because it steers away. Love the high neck look, very classy. They're removable bra pads in here, so it's very much a comfortable bra. I would say this entire set is very true to size. I do see a little bit of extra material right here, but I wouldn't size down because I'm really liking the way it fits around my waist. It's just the right amount of stretch and comfort right in the area that I really need that. I don't like ultra tight around my waist. When I really hike these babies up, that's when you can see a little bit of that extra material, a little bit of that veggie going on here, but not too bad, not terrible. You actually have a cutesy little zipper right in the back here. You can stow things away. This is something where I can be active, have my active moments during the day but not have to change into something nicer when I wanna go um, to a store or something. Do you guys think that it's worth the money? Because I know that the price points on these are pretty high. We're looking at for a full set, $130 on average. If you are somebody who has a fun life, <laughs> who goes out, gets drinks, has that kind of nightlife vibe to them, you do things in life and you need sets that are comfortable that are gonna work for you, then yeah, you might find this to be really a good deal. My overall favorites, you already know, I'm gonna opt for more of this stretchy type of material. The Vixen set won the day. If you guys found this video helpful, entertaining, valuable in any way, please do not forget to give it a like and subscribe to this channel. It helps us out more than you know. And the best part, it's free, man. It's free. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you. I love you guys so much, and I will catch you in my next video.